Every weekday morning, millions of American kids wake up and go to school, usually under the watchful eye of an adult. But in Japan, children are expected to make the journey alone. In the Tokyo metro area, where the population tops 38 million, that trip can last up to an hour, covering several miles. Seth Doan visited one family to learn how students going solo are protected. From 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. on school days, Ruhei Sato's routine looks like pretty much any first graders. This being Japan, breakfast is rice with fish eggs and seaweed, but otherwise it feels familiar. It's what comes next that's so surprising. It takes you 55 minutes to get to school? Yes. And you'll do this all alone? Yes. Is that strange? No. <laughs> Take a look at the trip he takes solo. It's a 10 minute walk to the station where he swipes his card like a veteran commuter. There are trains to catch and rush hour crowds to contend with. Then there's a transfer to a second train and another walk all alone at age seven. But before you jump to judgment, meet his mom, <laughs> Yumi Sato. Do you worry about him? Uh, at the beginning, yes. <laughs> I was so worried. In Japan, parents are encouraged to let their kids go to school alone. In fact, it's mandated at Sato's school. It's a culturally indoctrinated understanding that children are supposed to be independent um, by the time they start grade school, really. So that's age six. Taru Clavel is a Japanese-American sociologist well, now living in Tokyo. She's also a mom who's about to let her own daughter yes, commute to school alone. In Japanese, it's kawaii ko ni wa tabi o saseyo. It's a saying that children are exposed to, and it means to the adored child, send them on journeys. We've seen kids in Japan serving food at school lunchtime and cleaning up afterwards. There's even a popular TV show on the subject called My First Errand. It's been running for 25 years. Uh, Yumi Sato notes Japan's trains are dependable and there's a modern day tool to keep tabs on little Ruhei. So you can see where he is. A yes. GPS tracking device which reports back to her phone. Have you been to the US? Yeah. Would you let Ruhei go to school? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even finish my question. Absolutely not. No. Really? Why not? Because I see a lot of guns on TV in the United States. I don't feel very safe kids being alone and going to school by themselves. In America? Yes. Japan has a relatively low crime rate, and the yellow flap on Sato's backpack marks him as a first grader. The community is expected to keep close watch. There are newspaper stories about pedophiles. There are subway cars in Tokyo that have been made for only women, so there's no groping. Do these parents have a sort of false sense of security here? Every parent has to assess what he or she is comfortable with. Absolutely, there's crime in Japan, there's danger, but you have to weigh that against giving your child some freedom and, and, and being confident that you've given your child the tools to be able to navigate that. You made it okay? Yes. Returning from school, the seven-year-old seemed unfazed by any debate of his daily journey. Why do America's children can't go to school by himself? Why do Americans not go to school alone? It's mm -hmm. just seen as something an adult does. To take these trains that you take, to go all alone, seems like a big deal. <laughs> what do you think about that? But why can't kids ride trains by themselves, he asked. Before we left, we spotted him doing some sweeping, just like a seven-year-old would anywhere in the world. For CBS This Morning, I'm Seth Doan in Tokyo. Boy, I think that's, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm works gonna, for me. Does? Yeah. I'm with Yumi's with the mom. I wouldn't do it here either. Yeah. You're watching CBS This Morning. We'll be right back. I meant works in Japan. Yeah, it does.